Um, yeah, this could only happen in Lawndale, and since we're near there, or near enough there, I'm going to read it to you anyway. And um, <laughs> some of you are human beings, so a lot of you will understand this. This guy came home from his job. He was a, a computer data research statistics analyst or some shit. I don't know for sure. But like I said, he came home. And home was this apartment building with the front doors facing the street and the back doors going into the communal backyard leisure area. He had a wife and a little girl. I think her name was Heather or Fawn or something that sounded like a name from the Brady Bunch show. But anyhow, the guy gets out of his car and smells something cooking in the leisure area. Anyhow, he goes around the back way, surprise the wife, you know, maybe get a little after, new, after the news. And uh, something is cooking all right. There is a human leg sizzling on the patio grill, cut off right below the buttock with a foot still intact. Well, he was overcome with shock, followed immediately by an immense wave of revulsion and panic. He staggered to the back door of the apartment, opened it up and yelled, Honey, there's a human leg cooking on the patio grill in the leisure area. He looked up and saw his wife. She was naked and covered with blood. She was working away, humming to herself. I don't even think she noticed him. She was busy hacking up Fawn or Samantha or whatever her goddamn name was. There was his daughter in Ziploc bags, in the microwave, liquefied in the Cuisinart. She just said it was time. And what could he say? When they had gotten the girl from the adoption agency, she was skinny as a rail and had taken a lot of work fattening her up so there was some meat on the girl's bones. But they had done it. He went to the refrigerator, popped a cool one, wandered into the living room and turned on the TV. Maybe after the news, he could still get a little. <laughs>